Hello and welcome to my garage. I've got a fairly busy weekend ahead at the moment. Uh, the engine for my race car is back with me, so hopefully you'll join me as I put that back into the car over the weekend. To start off with, I've got the uh, I've got the cylinder head that's all been refreshed, but you can see possibly in the uh, in the video there that all the paint has been taken off as part of the cleaning process. So before we get the engine back into the car, we're going to clean up the cylinder head a little bit more and repaint it. You'll be able to see the cylinder head here. This is exactly how it came back from the engine builder. So all the old paint has been taken off as part of the cleaning process. We're going to give it a clean down. Then we'll have a, a, a primer coat and then a, a layer of top coat as well. In terms of tools for the job, we've got a, a bottle here which has got a. It's not a brake clean. This one. It's just a degreaser spray. I've also got. Uh, I've got a grey primer uh, for the for the first coat, and then we've got the. Uh, the uh, N N MGB maroon paint for the top coat. A couple of other bits, I've got a little heater here which I like to just use to, uh, to, to sort of get this dry a bit quicker. We're outside at the moment, the temperature's not all that warm, um, 14th of March today, um, so it's not quite, uh, not quite into full on British springtime yet. Uh, a little bit of sandpaper there, that's just, a, that's just a 320 grit and a block. And then we've got a bit of masking tape here. That I'll be using before we put the primer on. So to start off with, we're going to get the uh, we're going to get this uh, this cleaned up with the with the degreaser spray. I'll just give the just going to give the the head just a quick squirt with the with the degreaser spray. It's not it's not particularly strong this one. It's just a sort of a a usual body shop one. Then I've just got a bit of red scotch. I'm just going to rub rub it around here, just sort of making sure there's no flaky bits of of old paint left. And we'll just work around and get up, get that all cleaned up just by hand. I might just use a little bit of uh, sandpaper on these to finish them up. When I paint the engine, I don't like to put paint on these sort of finished areas. I like to leave those, leave those just clear as they are. So now that I've finished with the first sort of coat that I've that I've sanded down, I'm going to give it one more, one more spray with the degreaser. And this time I'm just going to use a little bit of a uh, little bit of sort of normal white paper towel to just give this a little the final sort of wipe down. There's a few places you want to be sort of around these spark plug holes is a useful bit to try and get clean because I do find the paint does tend to chip around those. So I'll just try and get any last traces of, of, of grease or oil out of here. What I like to do is just use an airline just to blow blow the uh, the last bits of the the, the degreaser off. And I'm just going to turn the turn the sort of head over on its side to give it a give it a final wipe, and I'm I'm now going to get started on the uh, on the masking up. So for the masking tape, I've got a I've got a uh, it's a 36 mil, so it's an inch and a half inch and a half tape, which is uh, I'm just using this frog tape purely because we had some left over when I when we done some DIY work in the house. But I think any normal any, any normal masking tape will be absolutely fine. So we're going to do the, uh, we're going to mask off the exhaust side here, and then we'll go around and do the uh, do the uh, the top of the of the head there as well. So to start off, with, all I'm going to do is, is just run a run a long strip all the way along there, and then what I'll hopefully do is just is just pick out the uh, the areas where I want the uh, where I want the paint to be with a uh, with a sharp blade. So I've just got a, I've just got a Stanley knife here, and I'm just just going to run that down there, just to take this take this back. Same on the other side. Now at this stage, it doesn't matter too much if I, if I do get a bit of primer onto this edge because I will be rubbing this all down with a, with a bit of sandpaper when the job's done. So that's that's fine for that end. So that's the, the masking tape applied to the top top of the engine. So I'm just going to go around go around now with this razor blade and all I do is I just sort of trace trace the outline of this uh, of this top section. I mean you don't have to be super super precise with this. I'm I'm actually going to be brush painting the uh, the top coat. So that does allow me a little bit of flexibility. If I do miss a bit with the primer, I can I can easily get in with with, with the brush in a bit to uh, to sort that out. And with all these parts, as they're going to be sort of shiny at the end, I can easily 
sort of rub any bit rub any sort of overspray off with with a bit of sandpaper or even just to just use use a Stanley knife again just to scratch scratch the top area back. So I'm just going to go around go around here with this. So there's our our cylinder head all masked up, and it's about ready to paint now. I'm just going to flip it over so you can see the top there. The, the masking's a little bit scrappy in places. Uh, this shouldn't matter too much. Uh, as I said, I'll be brush painting a top coat, so I can get into any areas where the uh, where where the primer doesn't. So I'm going to transfer it over to the table now. Very important to try and sort of keep this clean. Now we don't want to get any any sort of grease or dirt onto this uh, onto this area we're trying to paint. Possibly worth just having another another quick wipe over with a with, with a rag and a degreaser just to get it over to the table. So we've got the uh, we've got the cylinder head on the table now. All I've got is a little bit of card underneath. I haven't bothered to mask the underside of the uh, of the cylinder head. It shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you can just see see all around here where, where we've masked it off on the on the exhaust port side. So let me uh, let me put the camera back on the tripod and we'll get started with the first layer of the spray. All I want to do for this for this first coat is just a very light light dust coat of the grey primer. I'm not trying to build up too much paint here. Very important with the engine. I like to sort of use as little as little paint as possible when I paint it, so it sort of keeps it, you know, stops that paint insulating the cylinder head and the engine. So that's how I our sort of very light dust coat put on. I'm going to move the, this heater up just so it sort of gets a little bit of uh, a little bit of heat on the engine. I'm going to move it over a touch. I'm just going to leave that for sort of five minutes or so for that to uh, for that to dry off. Okay, so this uh, this first coat had around five minutes to dry, so I'm going to go on and put the second one on now. Again, we're just keeping it nice and light, not too much paint. And again, I'll leave this to dry for another sort of five or ten minutes before we do the final coat. So I'm ready to do the final coat now. So this is the third one. So I'm just going to lay this on. Just sort of having a look if there's any little dry patches anywhere that I can see. I think we've got a fairly nice even, even coat with it though. little underneath pieces where I can see the paint hasn't gone so well. So that's the uh, that's the third coat of primer and I think that'll do do for the primer coat. Just gonna zoom in a bit so you can see all the way along. As you can see we've, uh, we've got a fairly nice uh, nice smooth coat on there now. And what I'll do, I'll leave this to dry now for around sort of three or four hours. I'm going to leave the heater next to it, just but out of the way somewhere so it doesn't get knocked. And uh, we'll we'll come back to this in, in a few hours' time. The cylinder head has sat for just over sort of half an hour now under the heater. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the uh, this masking tape off just before the paint underneath gets too sort of dry. Yeah, and it can just make it a bit easier. It stops it sort of flaking as well. So let's just pull all this, pull all this away. Obviously, clean hands at the moment. We don't want to be putting any oily fingers into the into that fresh paint. So the masking has been fairly successful. You might be able to see if I just just gonna try and zoom in. You can just see. See in there, a little, a little bit's been missed, but when we do the uh, when we do the top coat, I don't think that's going to matter too much. I'll be doing the top coat with a brush, which does make it easier to sort of correct any little errors that we've made here. So I'm just going to peel the last uh, these last couple of bits off. Oh, 
and we'll leave this now for a few hours just to just to cure fully. So our primer's had a few hours to dry now, and I'm going to get started with mixing up the uh, the first layer of the of, of the paint. Fairly happy with how the uh, how the primer's come down. It looks like it's sort of covered most of the areas I needed to. We'll just pick these uh, pick these little, out, little bits out with the paintbrush in a, in a moment. The paint I'll be using for the cylinder head is this one uh, from Classic Transport Coatings. I bought it from uh, Frost in the UK. It's a very good match for this sort of original BMC maroon colour. It's an enamel based paint, but I, I also put a little bit of a, a bit of a, a hardener with this as well. Uh, be and because I'm because I'm using this paint with a hardener, I, I will have to mix it mix it separately. Um, so I'm just going to get the get the top off the can. Give this a little bit of a stir with a screwdriver. I just use just an old screwdriver for this rather than a, anything too nice. I find you always seem to get paint left over on it, no matter how careful you are. So you can see it's quite a quite a sort of a thick paint. This one, I think, is probably a couple of years old. This can it is, you know, it's possibly starting to thicken up a bit. It is an air, you know, it would generally be just an air drying paint. So. Uh, it will sort of dry on its own as, as time goes on. It's not. It's not a proper two pack. So let me just. Uh, just going to put that. Put that on there for now, and we'll just pour. Just pour a little bit into this dish. So you know, don't need loads. Just a bit, and then try not to make too much of a mess if we can help it. Unfortunately, with mixing paint, it usually ends up all over my hand. So let me just wipe that, wipe that down always handy to have a good uh, a good sort of roll of, of wipe wipe handy so there we go let me just go around there Inside. There we go. so then I've got a I've got a harden here which is just just an acrylic hardener but it does seem to work quite well with this with this enamel paint just gonna rather than tipping that into the pot I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it outside first purely because that's a that pot can be a little bit on the crusty side and you might see as I, as I open it it's sort of uh, parts of dried hard they do tend to fall off it so let me just tip a bit tip a bit into a pot first there we go you don't need uh, don't need all that much I mean I'm sure there would be a need all that much to go in just uh, just pull that in just a drop and then again I'll use the screwdriver to to mix this up so you the hardener does sort of thin the paint a bit but it also makes it a bit easier you know a bit, a bit uh, a bit thinner so it's a bit easier to brush on so I'll just give that a just give this a little mix up for a few minutes So you can see that it's just sort of, it's not too thin, you know, it, it's nice, a nice sort of, nice consistency to brush with. So let me, uh, let me put this down and we'll get started with the, with the first coat on the cylinder head. So uh, our paint's now mixed and ready to go and I'm going to get, I'm going to get started with the, uh, with the first layer of the colour. Um, with this I just, I just like to keep it nice and light, not, you know, not too much paint at one time. We're just sort of going to go carefully around and pick out these, uh, pick out these edges here, and I'm just going to, just going to sort of, I'm going to try and make the make the paint go as far as I can on, on every single, uh, every single brush stroke. And I'm gonna, hopefully, we might might need three coats, but we'll, we'll we'll see how it looks after two, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll go on from there. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pause the camera for now, um, just so I, just so I work my way around here. There's no benefit at all to rushing this. I'm just gonna just taking my time with all of this, keeping the brush strokes as sort of uh, as precise as we can. If we do go over the uh, the lines, of the the, um, the sort of the metal at the top here, it's not a problem because we can easily uh, we can easily just sand that back off. But we want to give it a nice even coat, you know, not too heavy. Always always sort of work on uh, multiple coats rather than trying to do it in what in one hit with a thick coat really not that easy to do and generally you'll end up with with not such a nice finish as, as the building the uh, 
build the paint up gradually and letting it letting it cure fully in between the coats and as I sort of mentioned earlier having the uh, that little bit of um, having a little bit of hardener in with the paint does make uh, does make this process sort of speed up quite a bit so let me just uh, we'll just carry on with these uh, with these and I'll uh, hopefully you'll join me again in a few minutes and we'll be most of the way through this side so I've I've zoomed in right here for you, so you can sort of see how I how I like this first coat to be. You'll hopefully just see I've still got a little bit of primer showing underneath, so it's really not not a very thick coat. It's nice to just see the sort of the peaks the peaks of the grey. That that to me shows we've got the uh, we've got the right amount of uh, of uh, of top coat on there for, for the first uh, first coat. Well, we try and be careful of runs, you know, not loading the brush up too much, and always working that working that paint in, in fairly well. You can always just use the sort of the side the side of the brush a bit to sort of flatten that flatten that in. You've got a lot of texture on this on this cylinder head anyway, so you know you you're not gonna see brush marks brush marking this very easy because of the uh, because of the texture of the uh, of, of the iron underneath. Another area where you might want a little bit of extra care is around these casting numbers at the front. I tend to not sort of load the brush and paint directly onto them. What I sort of do is get so so the brush is a little a little bit dry and then work work that paint in. Otherwise I find what tends to happen is the paint will hold in these uh, in the sort of the gaps between the numbers, the holes in the numbers and then sort of run out later. So we're just going to do a light a light coat around there and then we'll work our way around this uh, around this top section too just in here. Just really lightly put that in there. You know, as I said, if it doesn't, if you do go over onto this bit, it's, it is very easy to uh, to get back off again. So let me just get get the brush in there. And we'll just work up to the work up to the edge as best we can. There we go. Just oh, we're gonna try try not to leave any paint in there. So sort of work the work the brush away from the area slightly first. And you can always just sort of scoop scoop that sort of paint out and just just work it around a bit. There we go. So we're certainly we're certainly getting there now. We've just sort of got the final the final side to do now, and uh, then I'm just going to pick out those little bits there. Obviously, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of old paint still in these uh, still in these bits, so that didn't come out in a washer. But uh, not to worry, we'll, we'll carry on and. Uh, and, and get it finished up. Sort of area here on the exhaust side. I just sort of lightly put the uh, put a light bit of paint on a brush and just work it round in the uh, in the gap. If I do go over the edge, I just uh, what I basically do is run a bit of sandpaper over this whole face later, just to uh, just to smooth that all down and take any take any over paint off. And with this sort of little hole here. I think that's about it for the first coat, but I'm just going to, I'll just show you, show you the other side, I mean, it's, it will be starting to cure already, but just to sort of show you the sort of the level of, the level of paint I'm trying to achieve with the, with the first coat. But hopefully you'll be able to see it's sort of fairly light and you've got, uh, you've certainly got grey showing through on the underside, I've just tilted the the uh, the head started to paint the other side, so it's not showing up quite so well in the light. But sort of moving around it, you've got sort of it's, it's no no runs, I don't think, and it's all just going to hopefully just sit nicely for the next few hours before we can uh, we can do the, the second. And I think the second coat is probably going to be the final one. Looking at uh, looking at how well this has gone on so far. So that's our that's our first coat finished now. So just to to clean the brush up, all I've got is a little bit of uh, it's just a normal. A normal sort of brush cleaner thinners. Um, unfortunately, as we've mixed this uh, this paint with hard, then we won't be able to reuse that. So we'll have to dispose of that. I mean, as luckily we've got. I think the measurement was fairly good. We've managed to get through uh, through through most of what we poured out. There we go. What I like to do, I'll have to find some in a minute. But I like to just just to put a little bit of sort of a fairy liquid or a bit of cleaner just in the bristles. Just it just sort of conditions them and just keeps them nice and nice and soft. With the uh, with the pot, I'll just use the old cloth to scoop out what we can. Straight into the bin for that. A dash of thinners in there. 
I'll let that sit for it. Then I'll just I'm just going to wash that out with a with a, yeah, a paper towel. Um, we'll leave this now. Um, what time is it now? It's sort of quarter to two at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe around sort of four or five o'clock after two or three hours, this might be uh, this might be ready for for its second coat. So here's our the end of our first coat. It's had a couple of hours to dry now, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's definitely touch dry. I mean, I, I want to show you, there's a little bit on the top there, um, so you can rub, you know, you can rub that with your finger, and it's still, it's still a bit soft, but it's, uh, it, it, yeah, it's definitely not, uh, d definitely not still runny or anything like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, start with the second coat now, which I think is going to be the final one, looking at how well this, uh, the first one has gone on. So let me put the camera down and we'll get started with the second coat. So our, our second coat is much the same as the first. We're using the same paintbrush again, which is this nice, uh, this nice flat one with the with the plastic handle. I'll just give this a little rinse, a little rinse with the uh, with the thinner just before we start. But here we go. Now we've just uh, mix the mix the paint again, exactly the same as as before. We possibly could have carried on with the earlier paint, but I think uh, once once that hardness starts going off, it does. It does start going off very quickly, so we're just going to very much the same as before. Not not loading the brush too much, and we're just going to work, just going to work our way around to get this uh, to get this second coat on here as, as sort of as smooth as we can. So let me just uh, work on this. And what I'll do, I'll pause the camera now, and uh, I'll get back to you in a few minutes' time. So this now is the second coat all done. I think that's going to be enough. I don't think we're going to need a third. It all seems to have covered up, covered uh, fairly well. What I will do now is I'm going to take the head inside and leave it overnight, um, so sort of somewhere warm, so that fully cures, and then we'll be looking at this again tomorrow morning. A whole week has passed since uh, since that last video when I finished painting the uh, the second coat on the head. I was fully expecting to be uh, or well, to have this back in the car this weekend, but everything's been put on hold in the UK with the coronavirus outbreak. I hope that if you're watching the video, you're, you're all fine and your family's all, all, all safe. Um, hopefully, if we all um, all pull together on this, it, it, it won't be long before we're back to normal. But uh, that aside, um, it's given me a bit more time to sort of deal with the jobs on the car, so I've not been quite so uh, not been quite so quick to, to finish the head off. Um, as you can see, this is all uh, this is all dried up quite nicely. So what I'm going to be doing now is just using a using a razor blade just to sort of pick. Just see, just to pick these uh, th th these bits where the uh, where the paint has paint has sort of uh, got gone onto the metal where I didn't want it to be. So let me just put the uh, put the camera on its tripod and uh, we'll get started on cleaning this up. Now before I get too into it, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cover up these uh, I'm gonna cover up these uh, the openings on the re on the uh, on the side of the head which are the, the exhaust and the inlet. So that's just a little bit of masking tape on these. It just sort of stops anything anything falling in there. I mean, the valves are all closed at the moment, so it shouldn't be a problem. But we just we don't want to take take any risks on it. So let me just pop this uh, pop this masking tape on a little bit less there because we need to clean up you know, that bit of paint. So there we go. It's just to stop anything falling into the uh, into the openings there for the for the valve. So put that back over. And as I said, we're just gonna we're just gonna use this Stanley knife just to pick off pick off any bits of paint that have that have sort of uh, come onto here when, uh, when when we when we brushed it. We're just gonna scrape all these off. So you're just gonna get a really nice uh, bright silver top on here. Now the only problem, obviously, with this silver top, while well, leaving it uh, leaving it in bare metal, does mean it will rust. So I think if you're if you're happy to sort of look after the top of the engine either with some WD-40 or or just rub some oil in every every sort of week or so, it's absolutely fine, and it will stay fairly shiny. But obviously, if you're using a car as a daily driver, I would probably just paint this paint this in red and be done with it, um, so you don't have to bother. Don't have to bother keeping it sort of uh, keeping it so clean and rust free all the time. And also, if you do wash the engine down again, you, you, you'll see this rusts very easily. I try not to use any water on on the car at all now. I just use a, a sort of a, a surface detailer cleaner and then WD-40 to clean the engine up. 
So that's that's now sort of taken that uh, taken it off with the uh, with the razor blade. But what I'm going to do now after after the razor blade, I've just I've just got a bit of uh, 320 320 grit paper. And that's really all I'm doing here is just to give this a very light polish. I don't want to sort of start taking anything any material off this. It's just to give that uh, give the metal a bit of a shine. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't want to take any metal off this. It's just to give it a really nice a really nice finish. So I'm just going to gradually just gently work around. All this is it's just 320 paper on a on a block. And we're just going to go around. To shine up these, uh, shine up the bare metal. Now that's probably all I'm going to do with the sandpaper. So you can see there's still sort of a bit of a grain in the metal. That's obviously from the uh, from the casting or whether, whether the heads have some sort of little knocks in the past. Um, we're just going to we're just going to leave those in. I think once the uh, rocker covers on, you're not really going to see that too much. So now I'm going to work round on the other side where the uh, inlet and exhaust uh, ports are. So now around to the exhaust side, and just as we did on the front there, I'm just going to use a, the uh, the razor blade to clean up, clean up where the paint's come over. You'll notice I've not painted any of this where the uh, where the exhaust goes. I, I just like to leave that sort of bare metal. So I just I'm just going to go around with the razor blade, just taking up any bits where the paint's come through. Just down the end here, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of sandpaper. Just to finish that, finish that edge, that corner. I think I can see. I did, unfortunately, take a little bit of paint, paint off there. So I don't know if you can just see, just see on the end there. I mean, I'll probably just touch that back in with, with just some top coat. It, it won't matter too much about that. The final bit is just, just sort of under this, under this lip here. Just to just to finish up, we're on the underside of the head now. There's a few there's a few bits where the paint has just uh, just sort of run through. So again, with the, with our razor blade, I'm just going to take take it off. Lucky this has all been uh, nicely finished for us. So it's all it's all lovely and lovely and smooth and bright as well. So let me just go along there. I might just do a little bit of sandpaper in there, just where that paint's just run underneath. And again, with our, with our 320. Just, just removing any last, any last bits of paint on there. Now we don't want to obviously use anything too coarse and start getting into this lovely finished surface. We're just just using this, uh, using this paper just to get those last uh, last tiny bits of paint off. Pretty much there now. There's just a tiny bit on this uh, top corner, but the rest of that I think is now is now ready to go. So I'll give that a very quick wipe with degreaser, and that's us about done on the underside. I'll just have another quick look at the top. I just thought as well, I've got to have a quick. I'm just going to face these uh, these two ports here off for the uh, for the water take off. So just a quick. Spray and a wipe down. I will get the airline air too, just to sort of blow out. So that's the uh, that's the underside done. Now I'm just going to do these two 
two quarts on the side again we're just using a 320 paper so nothing too nothing too aggressive all we're doing with the paper is just polishing it's just polishing that metal up a bit you know, all we want to be doing here is taking the paint off nothing uh, nothing more than that so that's uh, I think I've got the part that sits sits on there so let me just see how that's yeah that's going to cover up pretty pretty well I'll just do that do that bottom area a bit I think that's enough and then finally I'll look at this uh, this top bit here which is where the uh, where the water takeoff goes so let me just give that a little I mean I guess if you uh, if you asked your engine builder before he, uh, he, he or he or she did the work, they could probably face these for you on their uh, on the milling machine. But unfortunately, we're a bit too late, and I, I, I sort of thought afterwards about shining these bits up. So there we go. So that's the two done. And so I can see the. I think there's a little bit of. Oh no, that's just. Just dirt around there. So I think we've got a fairly good, fairly good coating on here now. You know, there are any little bits you've uh, you've missed. You can always just touch them in with a with a with a with a small paintbrush. That's one of the nice bits about brush painting. It does make it easier to correct your mistakes. So let me uh, pop this back on the cardboard now, and I'll take a little close up close up view of the finished article. Okay, and there we have our our finished cylinder, all painted and uh, and ready to refit. Hopefully you'll join me again um, probably next weekend when we when we put this back into the car. So we'll be covering that, and then don't quite know when racing season is going to start at the moment. Uh, it looks as though uh, March and April are both out. So maybe in in May we'll we'll be back on a track again. So hopefully you'll you'll, you'll join me soon. Many thanks. Bye.